Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we'll continue our discussion of regression plots. So, so far we have seen that we can change the color of our regression plots by passing the color attributes, but that changes the color of our regression line and also our scatter or data points. There is a method that we can pass to change the color of let's say only the regression line or just the scatter points. We'll see how to do that. For that we'll be passing the line KWS or the scatter KWS attribute and then we'll pass uh, dictionary values, dictionaries, key and value combinations to change the color of, I mean the the attributes of either our regression line or the scatter plots. Let's see an example. We'll use the tips data set first and see how we can change those attributes. So we have SNS.regplot and we have seen this in the previous examples. On the x-axis we have total build and for our y-axis we'll use tip and then data comes from the tips data set. So if you recall, this is what it looks like. What we'll do next is pass the line KWS and scatter KWS attributes to change how this scatter and the line plot appears. Okay, let me copy that, paste it here, and let's pass those attributes. So let's go to a new line and add the scatter underscore KWS attribute, that's the attribute name, and then we'll pass whatever attribute we want to change we'll pass it as a key and value combination. For instance, we have marker. So if we want to change the marker, we will pass that as a key and for value, we'll pass the value of our marker. Let's say we want to use a diamond. Okay, we can do that. And then we can pass another key and value combination. Let's say color. So for our color, let's pass blue for instance and we'll do the same for the line kws attribute let's go to a new line so we have line kws and for that let's for color let's use for color let's use red and we can pass the line with attribute also line width and let's set the line width to 3.1 we can adjust this by looking at the regression plot okay it looks good now let's run it nice so now we have now we have our scatter plots in blue and our line plot here in red and that's the width you can adjust the width to a different value for instance if i make this 4.5 now we have a thicker regression line and for our marker let's use a plus sign looks like the marker is still the same we still have circle for our marker for our scatter plots. What we can do is we can pass the marker attribute here in the regression plot as a separate attribute and set it to let's say diamond and we can remove it from here from our scatter KWS attribute. Okay, let's try it again. I'm missing a comma here. Let's run it again. Okay, now we have diamonds for our marker. Similarly, we can change it to some other marker. Let's look at 
one other example let's change the marker to a plus sign let's change the color this time to let's say gray and the color of our line plot to let's try black and the line width to 2.5 run it okay here we have so here we have different attributes now so the color is changed the width of the line and let's change the marker to i guess there is no plus marker let's change it to circle run it again now we have circles that's how we can control each of our individual plots either the scatter plot or the line plot and we can do the same for our other regression plot the one that we used x value and y value okay so if i paste it here and change the x-axis to the x value variable that we defined in the previous lecture and y our y-axis to be the y value variable we don't need the trips data set so marker we have diamond for our scatter plot let's change this to purple and for our line let's change it to green and let's make the line width 1.5 and run it so here we have a regression plot for our for our data here another thing we can add in our regression plot is we can add the confidence interval value for our standard for our standard standard errors for that we'll pass the ci attribute so for instance let me copy this or let's type out a new regression plot sns that reg plot and for our x-axis let's use x value for our y-axis we'll use y value and then we can add the confidence interval value of let's say 34 this will be for the error for estimating the standard error Okay, that's what the regression plot looks like if we copy this paste it here and change the confidence interval to a different value let's say 68 this is the corresponding regression plot the corresponding line fit so you can compare this to different confidence interval values let's look at another example this time we'll consider the size and total build variables from our tips data set so sns that reg plot for our x-axis we'll use size and for our y-axis we'll use total build and our data comes from the tips data set so if we run this we have size on the x-axis total bill on, on the y-axis and we have a regression line here for our data points so the scatter points for each of the size look like more of a straight line right to make it more dist disperse we can add an attribute known as x jitter and that will make it a bit more dispersed so it will give us more idea more information about our size attribute about the size let's do that so add x jitter and set it to let's say 0 0.3 and see what it looks like okay that I think that's a bit too much so if we put this to a higher value it will make it a 
it will make it scattered and we, we won't be able to distinguish each of the sides so let's change this to maybe 0 0.08 and try it okay now it's a bit more scattered compared to our first scatter our first regression plot here you see it looks here it looks more of a line now it's a bit more scattered and so you can change this x guitar value to a point where the data will be more scattered so that we can get more information from our regression plots looks much better now right you can see that we have customers with a size of two the most right whereas customers of size five and six and one are a few and again you can apply the line kws or the scatter kws methods for instance scatter underscore kws and you can pass a key and value dictionary to change the attributes for instance i can change the color to red and run it now we have red scatter plots another thing that we can do is pass an attribute known as x estimator and that will allow us to see the mean of each of the values let's see an example so we have sns that reg plot and for our x-axis we have size for our y-axis we have total bill and our data comes from the tips data set and let's pass the x estimator attribute estimator and we'll set it to be equal to the mean so we'll use numpy's mean method and this will allow us to see the mean of each of the sizes so let's run this so here we have the mean of the mean for each of our sizes so for our customer size of two the mean of the amount paid is about what 18 17 for a customer of size 5 the mean of the amount paid is about $30 and this is the confidence interval values okay this line great so this is what I have for the lecture on regression plots so we have looked at a few attributes so go through this in the previous lecture and try out different attributes and how you can use those attributes to get more information from our regression plots so just to summarize regression plots gives us a best fit line for our scatter plots and we can pass the line kws or scatter kws attributes to change the properties of our scatter plot or line plot thank you everyone and see you at the next lecture